Happy New Year, everyone. So here's how I create my custom boxes and ship my first shipment out to Amazon. I used nitro gloves. I really like these gloves. Okay, so here's the boxes that I use. Um, everything's going to be in my Amazon store under custom boxes. I get everything pretty much from Amazon. Um, I will say these boxes are my favorite because they're harder and they don't get messed up during shipping. And I ship out liquids, so I don't have time for that. So... I only use Avery labels. I'm accustomed to, you know, making my own labels and I love their platform and their label types. So this is the tissue paper that I use. I really like this brand because it's really soft, but I do switch it up sometime and do different colors, but I really like the metallic with the white. It just has everything, makes everything stand out, you know? So this is one of my best sellers, my aloe vera hydrated hair growth spray. I'm using shrink wrap to just make sure that the top does not open, but I also use a seal top um, before the sh I put the top, top on as well. Sorry, guys. Avery Labels, I create my own labels. If you guys want to see a video on that, definitely let me know. So I do not put the spray top on anymore. I did have an accident where one um, like broke off. Didn't spill, but it broke, so I never did it again. <laughs> Okay, so I always give out samples. If you're not giving out samples or some type of discount code, you definitely should. It helps with your sales and your returning rate. So that's a little face serum with rose scent, and I just give them a sample of that. And then I put the spray top on the side. Now here I am just packing the box here, and then I have my um, cust. I made this myself. It's a infographic, and I have my story of my hair. Um, growth journey, ways to use each product, then you also want to put your best sellers. That way they can know that you have more products to offer, especially when shipping to Amazon. Okay, so I also create the top of this. My brand name is Queen Sanity, and I create that with um, Avery labels as well, just some circle labels. And then you have your custom boxes. Now, I do like to use these stickers, just clear, like transparent stickers to close the box because Amazon most likely going to be throwing around stuff just like the shipping carriers does. So I like to make sure the box is closed, but sometimes one sticker is not enough. So I would use another sticker on top of that just to make sure it's closed if it's not closing, especially shipping stuff to Amazon. I just felt like I don't need any type of mishaps, you know. There is a beautifully custom, not break your pocket <laughs> um, box, okay. And people love the boxes because it's like handmade, you know. So here I do have the polymer poly mailers. This is not with um, with bubbles because it's getting shipped to the warehouse. And um, because the box is so secure, I didn't need the bubbles. And there you go. You have your box ready. Now we're going to go over to our Amazon back in Amazon Seller Central. And you're going to go in and you're going to make sure that you choose the product you want you want and you have to print the labels and just make sure everything lines up. So I am shipping out 10 of each product. Um, well, it's only two products. And this is the label that I'm using. And it tells you the size. And I am using a laser printer. This is my favorite printer of all times. I love this printer. It works so well. And then you're gonna make sure everything matches up and you, then you're gonna go ahead and print your labels out and this is how it looks. Then you're gonna take that same bag and this is for Amazon to scan it and just to make sure it's the proper product. And so that obviously they know what to ship out and they're not shipping out the wrong item. So I'm gonna go back in my back end and we're gonna to go to send to Amazon. And as you can see, I'm shipping out 10 of my aloe vera spray and um, 10 of my fenugreek oil. Now you can separate the boxes if you want to, but I'm going to have everything go into one box so it's easier. And then here's my box and how much it weighs. I was actually really shocked at how much it costs to actually ship your products in. Um, I, th I don't know why I thought it was going to be a lot because it was a little bit heavier, but they give you discounts. So it's going to ask you for the day that you want to ship it in, um, the box size, and it was only like $8.41 to ship it. Obviously, it's in my neighborhood because you're shipping to places that's, you know, close to you. The warehouse is close to you. I tried to go in. I was just, just playing with it and changing to see if any carries was any different amount. And it wasn't. It was just 8 bucks and 41 cents, 
which actually goes on your um, account and you just apply to charges and you don't have to pay right away. It just comes out as orders um, comes along. So I do have a thermal printer, which I will highly recommend. And we're going to print our um, label out with the thermal printer. This is the Rolo. I've had this for two years and it's never given me any problems. And then we're going to view tracking details. And if you look, it just says, thank you for sending to Amazon. And then it says ready to ship. If you order free um, padded envelopes from the USPS, you probably got this box. I just took that out and put my products in the box. And then I got this scale from Amazon and it was <clears throat> 31 um, pounds. And then I put my label on there. I shipped it in and about a week or so later, my products were on Amazon. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. You can go to my Amazon store and you will see it says custom boxes and supplies. That's everything that I use in the video here. And thanks for watching and please follow.